Hello, YouTube. So today, I am going to try and throw this ball of clay into a small bowl. Keep in mind that I am still a beginner, and I'm learning, teaching myself via YouTube. John the Potter is who I learned from. So this is my little setup. I have my YouTube playing currently, John the Potter. My bucket of water, my wheel. But if you rotate This is my water that I use continuously, and this is my sludge bucket. This is where all the extra sludge goes, and this is kind of my fairly clean water. <clears throat> okay, so now that you see my setup, how do I get so nervous? I don't know. Anyway, okay, we're gonna just go for it. Keep in mind that I am a beginner. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, let's try it. First thing I've learned to do is you get your ball of clay. Ensure that it's wedged properly. And then you slam it on the wheel as close to center as you can. And pat it twice. <laughs> anyway, that's what they say on YouTube. Then you turn your wheel on. This is a borrowed wheel. And you get it going at a medium speed. Get it all wetty wet. My hand is currently is totally chapped from teaching myself to center. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to forget that I'm on YouTube so I can actually try and do this. Let your clay move to your hand. Don't let the clay don't let the clay move your hand. Let your hand move the clay. Okay. throwing four days ago. I've always just hand built and I'm teaching myself how to throw. So if anyone has any pointers, go ahead and shoot them out. But currently you're supposed to wedge it up by pushing the clay at the base and then you're not supposed to get this like volcano they call it. But if you do, Push it back down, keeping this hand as straight as you can. Look at me trying to teach you guys. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop talking. I feel like that's pretty centered. The one thing that I don't do as much as I should is cone up and down. It's kind of intimidating so I'm not good at it. I guess I just need to push it down. at it like this it looks like it's not centered but if you put your hand on it it's not completely centered but it's getting better down entirely too far this weekend. You gotta live, leave yourself some room at the bottom. 
is actually the clay. So that's all the clay I have left. So this essentially is the last pot that I'm going to be able to throw until I can make it out of town to get another bag, which is probably going to be two weeks. trust your gut you gotta know when to stop because if you don't stop you could really I mean I either can have a kind of wonky bowl or I could have a no bowl like I could totally flop over it and be ruined so I've decided to stop on this um, and I'm just cleaning up the the slip that's on the bowl see all that like slippy clay it's really good for putting handles on and other things, but you want to get as much off as you can at this point. I'm finding, I don't really know, but I'm finding because it's less work you have to do later when you're cleaning it up. And I've also heard folks say that you don't want to leave like a sharp edge here. So you kind of want to take like something and go around the edge. I don't um, like a, a piece of sham, sham wow or something or plastic. But for now, since I don't have that, I get my finger wet and I just um, lubricate the rim. And then I just use my finger for now. Okay, so that's that. Slow my wheel down, turn it off, and there's my bowl. Okay, so then to take it off of here, I've learned in the last week, to get your little bat wet, take your cutter tool, trimmer tool, whatever this is, cutter tool, and you kind of carefully take it off the bat like that. And then and then you take it and you can ever so gently slide it okay ever so gently slide it <laughs> or not or the other option is to just leave it on the bat which I did there you go which I did the first few times I did it and then I found that it was really hard to get off the bat like it, it would take an, over an entire day for it to loosen up to get off the bat. So I cut it off and there you go. My little baby pot. 
Okay, so I'll show you what I've been working on. I'm gonna set this little guy down somewhere. Oh, there you go. So I've been working on these magnets, which I already showed you guys. And I've been working on these mugs. See that mug? It's got a fish on it. It says Happy Camp California. And all those little bowls. Here's a little Valentine's mug. This one's super sweet. Oh my gosh, you just got it all over my nose. <laughs> this one's super sweet. I think it already sold actually, if it works out. You never know, it might crack at one of the stages in the kiln. And then I got all these little mugs, mugs and bowls. This is my biggest bowl that I did. It's not very big, but, and again, I got that Happy Camp fish stamp on there. And so that's it guys. Just wanted to give a little quick tutorial.